Dear children, before we begin this class, let us start with a small prayer. Let us stand up and recite the prayer shown on the screen. We thank you, Lord Almighty, for having brought us together in this Catechism class to study and pray and also to know and understand the divine revelations that God has prepared for us. We submit ourselves before the fellowship of the Most Holy Trinity. We pray along with the psalmist, It is you who light my lamp, the Lord my God lights up my darkness. O oh, Jesus, who shines as the everlasting light in our lives, we pray to you to preserve us under your mighty protection in all our deeds of this year. Mother Mary, who strengthened your son during his times of suffering, intercede for us.
sacrifices his only son in order to save many lives inside the train. My dear young brothers and sisters, the story do not end. The father looks for his son in each and every one of us. And when we get away from our sins, when we offer a true worship as Jesus offered for his father, we too become children of God. Now how are we supposed to offer a true worship? For that, we need to understand what is meant by true worship. So let us recall it from the first lesson, that is, true worship is a reciprocation of the love of God who comes in search of man. Meaning, true worship is a response, say the favorable response that we give back to God for his love. Now how are we supposed to give a response, a favorable response? For this, we need to understand that the true worship, it consists in fulfilling the wish of our loving one. As Jesus sacrificed on the cross to fulfill the wish of his father to save mankind. That is called true worship. So, we are demanded okay, to sacrifice all our wishes and ourselves too. For the wish or for the will of God. Now since we cannot offer a sacrifice better than what Jesus has offered, we are called to participate in Holy Kurbana, which is a sacramental celebration of the most solemn adoration rendered by Jesus through his own self-dedication. Hence, the Holy Kurbana is the most solemn form of worship. So today we will study the fourth lesson that is Holy Kurbana, the highest form of worship. So let us start with our first topic that is Holy Kurbana, the sacrifice and banquet. Now how Holy Kurbana becomes a sacrifice? The Kurbana which is celebrated on the altar is actually the reenactment of the sacrifice of love offered by Jesus to our eternal Father on Calvary. Now, for a sacrifice, we need two things. The one, first one is a celebrant and the next one is a sacrificial offering. The celebrant may be trees and the sacrificial offering may be fruits, animals, birds, flowers, etc. But in case of the sacrifice of Jesus, the celebrant was Jesus himself and the sacrificial offering was also he himself. And hence, Jesus says, in the Gospel of St. John chapter 10 verses 17 to 18. I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own account. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it up again. St. Paul also says in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 2, Christ loved us and gave himself up for us a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. So with this we understand that Holy Kurbana is a sacrifice of love. Now let us take Holy Kurbana, the banquet. Now here, during uh, Last Supper, on the day of Last Supper, Jesus took a loaf of bread, broke it, blessed it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. So here Jesus did specify that the bread was he himself and he was hinting that he was the lamb to be sacrificed on the wooden cross on Calvary. So on the day of last supper, what Jesus did was, it was a sacramental form of the sacrifice that was yet to be fulfilled on Calvary. So what is meant by sacramental form? Sacramental form are the visible signs of invisible grace. So whatever Jesus did on the uh, uh, last supper day, that is breaking the bread and giving the wine, these all were the visible signs of the invisible sacrifice that was yet to be fulfilled on Calvary. Now. The Holy Kurbana is a heavenly banquet prepared for us by Jesus. We eat and drink the body and blood of resurrected Jesus, 
because our God is a living God and our Jesus have victory over death. Now, when we participate in Holy Gurbana, we are owed to receive Holy Communion too. Why is it so? Let us take an example. When you call for a wedding feast, we have the meal that is over over there. And it shows that we have completely participated in their joy or in their celebration. Similarly, in order to completely participate in the Holy Eucharist celebration, we are supposed to have Holy Communion too. And therefore, we say that Holy, Com Holy Kurbana is a banquet which is prepared for us by Jesus. I hope you have understood this topic. Now let me give you three questions. So your first question is, discuss about the similarities and differences between the sacrifice of Jesus and the sacrifice of Abraham as mentioned in the passage of Genesis chapter 22 verses 1 to 19. And based on this discussion, find out the unique particularities of the sacrifice of Jesus. Now your second question is, why do we consider the Holy Kurbana as a solemn form of worship of God? Your third question, write short note on the Holy Kurbana, a sacrifice and a banquet. Now let us take our next two topics that are Holy Kurbana, the celebration of the Messianic event, Holy Kurbana, the prayer of the church community. So under the first topic, that is Holy Gurbana, the celebration of the Messianic event, we need to understand that during the Last Supper, giving the bread and wine as his body and blood, Jesus told the apostles, do it in memory of me. So the Holy Gurbana is instituted on this commandment of Jesus, which is a commandment, do it in memory of me. So the Holy Kurbana is a sacrifice on the altar being performed in memory of Jesus, passion, death and resurrection. But not only Jesus' de uh, passion, death and resurrection are commemorated, instead all the mysteries in the life of Jesus are also recalled in this Eucharistic celebration or in this Paschal mystery. So what are they? They are birth, Life, death, resurrection, ascension, the descent of the Holy Spirit and his glorious second coming. So these are mysteries in the life or the life events of Jesus are recalled and celebrated in the Holy Kurbana. So hence we say that Holy Kurbana is a celebration of the Messianic event. Now next we need to understand that Holy Kurbana is the prayer of the church community. In the first lesson, we have learned about Israelis. Israelis are basically the people chosen by God to worship Him. Okay, so we have old Israel and new Israel. Who are new Israel? New Israels are the church. Okay, or the church is called as the new Israel, meaning we are the new Israel. Okay, so since we are the new Israel, we are supposed to worship our God. And therefore, Holy Kurbana is the official form of worship of God by the community of the church. Now, in the third lesson, under the title Church, we have learned that we are supposed to worship God united with Christ. Now, how is it done? The Holy Kurbana is the worship of God, the Father, rendered by the church, the body, in union with Jesus, the head. Okay, so basically what they say is, though we are different in language, though we are different in culture, though we are different in the place where we live, okay, still we are worshipping our God united with Jesus. Okay, so we are a single human the church as a body and uh, Jesus as the head. Okay, so uh, in the Holy Kurbana, all those in heaven and on or, uh, and on earth unite and worship God. 
Now we have learned that the church is basically a worshipping community. Now all the activities that are conducted in church or through church, it focuses on the zenith of worship of God. Okay, so the proclamation and observance of a faith and salvific presence are being echoed in the Holy Quran. So we can say Jesus is the cornerstone of the church built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets and in this temple we worship our God. I hope you all have understood this topic too. Now let us go on to the question answers. So your fourth question is the church joins Jesus to worship God. Elucidate. And your fifth question is the Holy Purbana is not a private prayer by individuals but a prayer by the community of the church. Do you agree with this statement? Give your reasons. Now let us take our next three topics that are Jesus who is present in the liturgy of the church, Holy Kurbana, the powerhouse of Christian life, Holy Kurbana is continued in our life. Let us start with Jesus who is present in the liturgy of the church. So it is Jesus who actually officiates the Holy Kurbana. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. It is performed by Jesus the priest in union with the church, his body. Now, next let us study about Holy Kurbana, the powerhouse of Christian life. Okay, now the Holy Kurbana is considered as a powerhouse because we commemorate and celebrate the great, awesome, holy, life giving, and divine mystery of the passion, death burial, resurrection of Jesus who has taught us the message of love in giving up himself for the sake of others. So whenever we participate in the Holy Kurbana, we get strength and inspiration to overcome all our sorrows. Okay, so whenever we have the sorrows, while participating in Holy Kurbana, we offer all our sorrows in the Holy Eucharist, okay, along with the agony of Jesus and make us Redemptive. Now, St. Teresa of Calcutta, Mother says that she receives strength to see Jesus in the poor, the sick, the infants and the old, left out on the streets and serve them from the Holy Eucharist. Similarly, the sacrifice of Jesus on Calvary strengthened by strengthened many saintly souls like Father Damien and Maximilian Colby, etc. So our next topic is Holy Kurbana is continued in our life. Here we need to understand that as Jesus sacrificed himself on the cross and broke himself and shed or fed us, similarly we are also supposed to give ourselves to others. Okay, So impart our life to others no matter whatever is the sphere of our activity. Because during the last supper, Jesus gave us a commandment that is do it in memory of me. So whenever we offer ourselves to others, okay, whenever we do good deeds to others or whenever we uh, console others, at that time we are actually following the commandment that is do it in memory of me. 
So with this we have completed our chapter. Now let me give you the final questions. Uh, so your question is, how does the Holy Kurbana become the powerhouse of Christian life? That's all. Now in the next lesson we will be studying about Holy Kurbana in detail, meaning the prayers, the rituals that are all I have or celebrated in the Holy Kurbana that we will be studying in detail. Okay. So before that, let me give you a brief introduction. That is, the Holy Kurbana have three forms. The first one is a most solemn form, also called as Raza. The second is solemn form, and the third is a simple form. Now there are eight different parts of the Holy Kurbana. First one is introductory rites, liturgy of the word. Preparation of the gifts, anaphora, rite of reconciliation, breaking of the bread, holy communion, concluding prayers. Students, here I give you an activity. Make a video on liturgical objects that are used in our Zero Malabar liturgy. Give preference to the liturgical objects that are used by altar servers during Holy Kurbana. So these are the guidelines. Maximum time limit is 20 minutes. Narration is compulsory, that too in English. One entry from a parish. Group activity, discuss with your classmates and teacher. Best video will be selected and webcasted. Mention the names of narrator, parish, parish priest, class teacher and class students. The submission date is on 20th August 2020. Email ID is given and it is also mentioned in the description box. Read and meditate the word of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 23 to 29 and write your favorite Bible verse in your diary. A verse to remember, please by heart this Bible verse.